Welcome back, everybody. This is our pretty did the VIP. How's everybody doing this afternoon? Hopefully, great. Welcome, everybody. It's new. Welcome, everybody. It's getting a clue. Welcome, everybody. It's coming unglued. I'm glad to be here. A service for you guys. You guys do not support me. I support you. I'm just dropping seeds because you know you plant seeds. What you seed, you feed. And that's you got to watch what you're seeding. Okay. What do I do? Introductions are different all the time. I'm about soul building, soul healing. Okay. That's what I'm about. All right. What does that mean? Okay, what does it mean? I help you identify the energetic shocks, the energetic blocks on your chakras, which starts with your thoughts. Okay, if you want to create change, it starts with your thoughts. People want to go outside the box and create their change. You change from the inside first. Okay, all right, because your thoughts will get you caught, then you get you bought, and then your thoughts will make your shock box a, a, a shit box. Okay, I just don't say box just to be cute. I don't say box for advertisement. It means something. Pop your box. People look outside the boxes first before they pop their own box. Okay. That's what they do. All right. So this is going to be Taurus. This is going to be part of your self-mastery. What we're doing today, we did the RIP. Everybody have something they want to RIP. What does the RIP mean? Put it in peace. Rest it in peace. You may need to uh, RIP drinking. You may be, you need to maybe RIP changing your attitude. Who knows? You may need to RIP being a liar. You may need to RIP being two-faced. You may bring, bring, need to bring some self-awareness that your ass is insecure. RIP some shit. Because what people are doing is manifesting their mess instead of addressing their mess. Okay? That's what's happening here. So this is, this, I want to get it for really clear. This is for your self-mastery for you to look into. Okay, self-worth, maybe self-absorbed. Maybe it may, you have a problem with self-indulgence. You may have a problem with self-worth, self-value, self-contempt, self-consuming, self-assuming, self-betrayal, self-deception. You may need to do some self-examination, some self-awareness. Okay, what does self-love mean? We throw that around like it's a wig. Half of y'all don't even know what self-love means. Meaning, do you know your worth? Do you know your value? It's not about going to get a lace front, getting your nails and your toes done. It's about your inner self, your inner prep. That's what it's about. Okay, let's get to it. I just want to kind of explain that. Okay? Because folks is really lost in the sauce. I, I'm just like, I'm just... <laughs> yeah. No, this is not terrible, though. If you get my shit confused, you'll lose. And whoever don't like what I do, you can call it Oracle. You can call it whatever you want. Move around. Don't come to my page and I'm talking to you terrorists with that witch shit. Because I don't play with witches. <laughs> Let's see, Taurus, what you need to RP. Yeah, see your thoughts will shape and shift you. Okay? So you're, whatever you're thinking about, whatever your dominant thought is, Taurus, is, is, is shaping you and is shifting you right now. Just like everybody won't use shapeshifters. Shapeshifters been out this, since the Atlantis times. You guys been on your channels for so long and now you want to use shapeshifter? And I'm talking to everybody. Shapeshifter been out there. This is why I tell you, you followed the herd. You got that herd consciousness. Okay? So your thoughts will shape and shift you. Who? I got three tours. Uh, uh, I didn't cut off uh, three tourists already. Yeah. I didn't cut off three torches. You gotta watch torches. Yes, honey. You gotta watch all energies. Period. But yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I uh we came to the West when I was 14. I've never seen a bunch of two-faced it, arrogant, that low down people in the West if I've ever seen in my life. And I can say that. Where I come from, if we don't like you, we don't shake with you. We don't rock with you. We're not going to smile on your face. We're not going to do none of that. Okay? And my territories is Alabama, Detroit, Baltimore, and Dayton, Ohio, 45406, the Buckeye State. Where I grew, when I grew up, we didn't do none of that. If we didn't like you, we didn't, we, didn't just, we didn't mess with you. But folks on the West Coast can smile on your face. Baby, buy, pay your bills, buy you shit, give you shit, and turn around. You'll be surprised. Never seen nothing like it in my life. If anybody get offended, baby, get a, get, get a defense. <laughs> I'm telling you what my experience been. It's crazy. Gemini, uh, Cap, you got a Gemini energy you may be dealing with. Somebody's power tripping. You power tripping with a Gemini. You need to RIP that shit. Because this Gemini is very flaky and disorganized. You may be dealing with a Gemini cancer cusp. They weakness is being very selfish. They're very demanding, aggressive, fearful. 
Keep your eye on your own goals, um, Capricorn. Resist the tendency to drift. Beware of allowing repressed feelings. Allow allow your destructive emotions to control you. Okay? Because right here it says angry. And you want some respect. It, it sounds like a Gemini is giving orders and you getting pissed. RIP that shit. You power tripping. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is, it's your uh Taurus you, uh shape and shift in your energy. Yeah. And see, this resonates with me right here. Yeah, I do have a Gemini in my energy power tripping. Sure do. <laughs> yeah. Power tripping like a motherfucker. And Capricorn. There's a Capricorn here. Maybe working with a Gemini. So check this out, Taurus. Don't let this shape you and shift you. Okay, so there's a Taurus out here. You're power tripping with a Gemini or Capricorn. Don't let it shape you or shift you. And then there's a Taurus. You're letting this shit shape you and shift you. Isn't always the boss. Somebody's trying to be the boss. Either you, Taurus, or the between this Gemini and Capricorn, somebody's trying to be the boss, but somebody got the energy of power tripping out here. RP that shit, Taurus. Mm hmm. Did I say, uh huh? Let me stop. Where's my tea? Where's my tea? That's why I say you got to self police yourself, you got to watch your energy. This power trip and shit. Yeah, you got to watch your energy. You got a lot of folks on, in tarot want to be the only ISIS and shit. Man, why did I say that? ISIS and who else? Why did I say that? You know why I said that? I don't know why I said that. ISIS. Hmm. I don't even think about ISIS. No, I don't. I'm going to have to look into that. Because why did I say that? Isis energy. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get on with yours, Taurus. Let's see what's happening. Okay. Yeah, somebody wants to be Isis energy because they power tripping. Yeah. And the thoughts are shaped and shifting them. Okay. It's because, yeah, it fell out. They on that who I am blocks. Yeah, whoever this Taurus is is on that Hawaiian blocks. Oh, my God, I know somebody like that. Oh, Jesus, my house, honey. Uh, to the point, girl, let me tell you what. I, I went to decorate my education. Oh, my husband, my ass, my just from vacations. You got some Taurus that brag about every damn thing. And don't let you go somewhere and did it. They did it the night before or did it last year. You're supposed to be on I am that I am Taurus, not that who I am block shit. So this is why some power tripping is going between you and Gemini and Capricorn. Okay? Let's see what your self-mastery card is. Mm-hmm. Or you was working with a uh, Gemini and a Capricorn. <laughs> and y'all power tripping. Taurus. Okay, so be the energy you want to receive. You want to receive the house and the man and the education and shit, but you got to be the energy you want to receive. You can't be in this energy you want to receive if you're over here power tripping. Trying to be a boss, but you're being lost. But you lost. Yeah, trying to be a boss, but you lost. Yeah. I hate when I pick up some people's energy. That's the problem with this shit. Yeah, I'm picking up a person's energy. Uh... Yeah, that I talk to every once in a blue moon. Yeah, I swear this is her all day long. Always on the power trip. Very self-unaware. Uh, somebody's always, it's, it's, and we, yeah, this is self-defeating. This, this who I am blocks and this power tripping towards, it's very self-defeating because you got a self-esteem issue. Yeah, your behavior and your actions are very, uh, are very self-defeating. Like, for instance, I know this Taurus would do this. If they have a business, right, for instance, they know damn well they didn't got this idea from somebody else and inspired by somebody else. Instead of them saying that, they act like they just came up with it and shit. And, and then if you tell them something, what I know is about Taurus, you could tell them something. And then later on in the conversation, they'll tell you the same thing that you told them, but they acting like they telling you now. <laughs> Self-esteem issues, my friend. Confidence in your own abilities. There's a Taurus out here that is uh got some self-esteem issues in their own abilities, in their own self-worth. Yeah. And it's self-defeating. Power tripping. Somebody's power tripping out here. Yeah, see, you need to pop your own box. Yeah, you need to pop your own box. 
a lot of people are very unaware that they uh uh are have self esteem issues. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Taurus, what we have? It's like in that Scorpio read. Oh my goodness, my friend called me about that. She lives in New Jersey. She said she started screaming. She was laughing so hard. She said, that ain't me, that. <laughs> she said, how you picked that? I said, I don't know. I don't be thinking about y'all. <laughs> Self-love. Okay, yeah, you need to see your own value. Stop looking at somebody else's box and seeing they, they value. This is the problem, Taurus. You're looking at somebody else's box instead of seeing their value. See, see, look at your own value. Yeah. Look at your own value because you want that who I am shit. Instead of being on I am, my house, my education, who I am. And, and uh, yeah, you need to analyze the way you move it. Because they said this is self-defeating behavior. Pick it up or, or stick it up, whatever you want to do. Self-reliance. Are you reliant on your own resources and powers rather than some others? There's a Taurus out here that's relying on somebody else's resources and powers. This is why we got to here pop your box. You need to refine your vibe because it's show taking a dive because you got self-defeating behavior again because you're sabotaging yourself because you out here relying on somebody else's resources and powers instead of relying on your own. Okay. Self-defeating came out here twice because you want to be on a power trip. Taurus, you want to be on a power trip and it's affecting your, and re what really what it is, you need to look into self-esteem. So when you meditate, you need to look into some self-esteem issues, get you a pen and paper, look into some self-defeating issues and stop trying to peep up to keep up. There's a Taurus out here peeping up, trying to keep up. This is not a competition. There's a Taurus out here in competition. This is not a competition. It's about comprehension. It's obvious you're not comprehending. You're descending. Yeah, it came out just like that. Yeah, for real, for real. Leo energies out here. And maybe a Taurus may have some uh, uh, Leo energy, repulse, and then we got Libra energy, Taurus. Okay, repulsed, <laughs> repelling. Now I can tell you right now, I'm repulsed by a Libra. You damn right, I sure am. Leo energy out here. So Taurus, you may have a problem with a Leo and a Libra. Mm-hmm. Yep. Leo energy and Libra energy. Repulse. Repelling each other. Yes. Because folks want to work with dark instead of the light. And the dark and light will repulse each other. Yeah. So there's a Libra and a Leo out here self-inflicted. Somebody self-inflicted. Somebody made a poor judgment call out here. Taurus, somebody made, yep, self-evaluation is needed. So this is your self-card. Self-defeating. So whatever you did was self-defeating. I'm talking to two, three different sets of Taurus. There's a Taurus out here got some self-defeating behavior because you out here on a power trip because you over here on with this who I am shit. But you want to be in the energy you receive instead of popping your own box. You got self-esteem issues that you are very unaware of that you need to bring self-awareness to because you don't really see your own value. Okay, so you need to do some self-evaluation because it says it twice right here is self-defeating behavior because you letting your thoughts shape you shift you and shit you while we shape while we talking about shape shifters uh-huh okay something left you self-inflicted but between this leo and libra that i'm getting right here for another set of taurus this leo and this libra was fucking with this taurus all day long and what taurus y'all need to refine your vibe okay so self uh self-inflicted a leo and a libra made a poor judgment uh choice made a, a poor judgment call on a taurus which has left y'all self-sabotaging and uh it's, it's self-impulsive okay that's why we got thoughts with shape you shift your shit you out here folks need to better analyze the way they move it yes enough said enough said <laughs> Yeah, enough said. That's funny how that shit came out. Yep. Enough said, baby. Enough said. Folks gonna have their heads in beds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wanna know why? Because, Taurus, somebody out here got divine deception. So this is why we got this self-inflicted card because this Leo and this Libra, okay, or another Taurus, y'all got some divine deception from somewhere. Y'all asses set up here and made a choice, okay? Made a choice 
which which self defeated and self and self sabotage yourselves because y'all didn't do no self evaluation. Y'all sat up here and got some divine deception. What does it say? Yeah, it's time to come. Yeah, come out of denial. And y'all want to still stay in denial with the shit. Come out of denial. Accept your responsibility. Mm hmm. Your culpability means responsibility, liability. Yeah, y'all making yourselves a liability for the words. Okay. Somebody said some words, maybe did some incantations, words and deeds when you, yeah, yeah, take responsibility because y'all self-inflicted. Libra, Leo, and Taurus. Yeah, contemplating is needed. Somebody's contemplating, looking at their actions. You didn't trust your instincts. Learn and enjoy the simple pleasures in life. Build from inner strength. Stop swimming against the currents. Establish your own deal breakers. And then you have your heel breakers. But you want me to put it simple boundaries. Establish your deal breakers and then you'll have your own heel breakers. Okay, break. <laughs> yeah, Taurus, change your attitude. You change your direction, my friend. Because somebody's in self-denial about an uh, issue. This is it. Okay, so you need to do some inner prep and inner step. Because there was a game changer. Like I said, between this Leo, Libra, and I'm picking up another Taurus. Somebody was out here trying to resurrect some shit to wreck some shit. This was sabotaging behavior. Somebody was fucking doing magic between the Leo and Libra. Because we got to be responsible for the words that you, that you said. Pop your box. That's what it says right here. Somebody was fooled and blinded. Because somebody got some divine deception. Mm, yes, yes. In a prep, you needed some self-direct correcting. Y'all didn't get that. Okay. Y'all try to create a position of strength because all y'all was on this who I am blocks. Now your thoughts have shaped you, shift you, and shit at you. In which in return, your energy has shaped you, shift you, and shit at you because y'all didn't do no self-evaluation. Because whatever this is, the self-defeating behavior came out twice. And this one says self-sabotage because y'all need to refine your vibe. And I didn't even see this one because now somebody is mentally insane. Between this Leo, Libra, and a Taurus, somebody is going mentally insane. Because you want to stay in self-denial. Because you didn't refine your vibe. Your vibe took a dive. You didn't want to ground yourself and look at your and contemplate and look at and look at yourself and do some self-introspection. Because you guys got self-esteem issues. Because somebody did magic and whatever it happened, you was blinded. Okay, pop. Because you didn't want to pop your boxes. That's what happened. Pop your box. You lost self-control and you needed self-control in this situation. Okay. Now we out here all disorganized, misinterpreted, aggressive, fearful, dogmatic, bottled up. Yeah, as the Taurus out here, self repulse y'all self-conflicted because y'all made a poor judgment choice, uh-huh, which pushed you in self-denial. Let's do one more Taurus and I'm done. I keep telling you, vibe if what you vibe with is what you die with. Inner prep is needed. Y'all did outer step instead of inner prep to empower yourself. You thought that outer prep was going to create a position of strength. All it did was stretch you. Stretch you to stretch you. That's all it did. Stretch you to stretch you. You just stretched yourself. Yeah, what did I say? Sacrifice. Stretch yourself to stretch yourself. Sacrifice yourself towards spiritual block and your own energy. Cancer. One more. Then we're done. Taurus. That was a cold, that was a cold blooded one for you, Taurus. So y'all know what end you on. But it's definitely a Leo and a Libra out here that was uh did magic on the Taurus. Some words definitely did that. Now we got uh huh right here. Copycat and divine feminine. Pop the box, pop the weasel, okay? Pop the box, pop the weasel. So there's a Taurus out here that is a divine one, okay? Yes, somebody's tried to self-enable her and disable her energy. This is what this is about. This Leo, this Libra, and another Taurus tried to disable this divine one energy, copycat and divine feminine. That's why you couldn't get your spiritual perception or your reception because your crown now is blocked and shocked. Okay, because you didn't lock that up because you didn't pop your box because y'all was trying to resurrect some shit, direct some shit, and y'all end up blinding yourselves and fooling yourselves because instead of you having some self-control, you lost control instead of being on this because y'all was on this who I am block instead of being on the am that I am. Okay, now this, your behavior has self-defeated you, self-sabotaged you, and now you have no confidence in your abilities because now we got self-created. What? Demons. Because we got the fear of the unknown right now. Fear that you made a mistake. Instead of y'all refining your vibe, you redived your vibe, okay? Because you didn't want to pop your own box, all right? That's it for Taurus. Hope that can help you learn something instead of burning something, you feel me? Okay? So I can hope that helps you eyes out. This, um, look at your RP and look at this. But some that definitely out here trying to power trip with a Taurus or a Taurus is power tripping. Put it where it fits.
All right. Okay. So um, you can subscribe if you like. That's up to you. This is our free to do at the VIP, and we'll be back with the fire signs. Let's get it on going. All right. So we can get back to it. Talk to you later.